Today is the first day of the girls' play practice. Right? So I think they're in high school because we're back in high school and we feel really cool. I'm not even doing the play. It's okay. They're excited. Here we go. Okay, so it's Monday morning, 8 o'clock. We don't get up early. I think that we try. I think that if that's one of my biggest downfalls is getting up in the morning and getting the girls going. I'd say about 9 or 9.30 we're ready to roll. So when we have to be at play practice every day this week by 8 o'clock, it's a stretch. But we did it, right girls? And now I only have two kids today. What can I do with two kids? We're going to Target and then we'll see after that. She's leading us through Target. She needs some new clothes. What do you need? I need a dress. A dress? You're looking for a dress? Mm -hmm. Do you love dresses? I want to do underwear. You want new underwear? Yeah. What do you want to do, Liza? Touch the sky. Touch the sky? Somebody left something on our front step. What is it, lovey? I think I know what's in there. I think it's something that's really good for you. What do you think is in there? Avocado. An avocado. I think somebody had some extra. Sarah did. She said she gave them to us. What do you say to Sarah? Thank you. Do you like avocados? Yeah. I do too. No, 36, 37, 38. Can you tell me then? A E I O U is a little Stick the words together with very sticky letters. Um, this one, so what they're trying to do is they're trying to be tricky. So you have to line it up so you can do it. 30 minus 10. Now try. The girls have done so great, they came home, didn't even question it, and they went to their schoolwork, right? Mm -hmm. So that we can go to the pool. I don't know about you, but this looks phenomenal with the side of avocado. We'll see how it tastes. The girls are outside, and they are swinging. I told them that I had to clean up the kitchen real fast, and then we're going to do school. And I did not tell them that I have this cheesecake because I don't want to share it. Pretty selfish mom. The clouds came out, and I told the girls we could finish their school tonight. We could hit the pool before it rains. Come on, Annie Boo. It's not raining out yet, is it? No. Not yet. Oh, that was better. Hey, that was better. Here comes Emery. <laughs> Do it again. Uh oh, you're going to hit Abby. <laughs> Okay, show us what you can do. Ready? Go. Um, you ready? <laughs> okay, what are you doing? I'm doing that to mommy. Mommy helps me do it. Now I can do it all by myself. Are you using the noodles and in the deep part all by yeah. yourself where you can't touch? Yeah. You've never done that before. Girl, it's pretty awesome. Nothing makes me happier than watching these girls. Like defeat fear. She was so afraid of the water, but she has been. And she has conquered her fear today and has gotten in without me on some noodles where she cannot touch. And she's so proud of herself. That's awesome. Liza, good job! You're swimming! Are you doing your ABCs? You went and got your notebook and marker? Because the other girls are doing their school? Uh, no. What are you writing? Um, so my mom letter. What are you writing what? My mom letter. Your mom letter? I came inside because the kids were hungry. I cut up some vegetables and then somehow we just ended up making sandwiches. So our supper is improv to put together lettuce sandwiches. Are they good? Liza wants to make us something and she'd like me to video her. So, what are you making? We're making a Tito outing for a soup for a little bit of tea in it. Then, some purple stuff. Then, some lemon stuff. And then, some cherry stuff. Marriage Tip Monday. 
Obviously, my better half is not here. He is in New York. But I felt like I needed to do a marriage tip Monday, and last week we got busy and we forgot, and so it is Monday. And I was praying about it, and I felt like God said two things. Talk about not living in fear, and talking about never taking your spouse for granted. And so, first of all, not living in fear. There's a lot of stuff going on, um, just with the whole Orlando thing. And if you've got a spouse that travels, Steve's been traveling way more than he ever has before, it's easy to let your mind wander and think, what if? And you can't do that. God is a good God. He is faithful. You've got to lift up your spouse in prayer and know that they are protected. So that's the first one. And second of all, to not take your spouse for granted. You know, it's easy to get in just the rut, in the just the same old mundane things over and over again. But just to simply stop and tell your spouse, your husband or your wife, that you love them and that you appreciate them and that you miss them really probably means more than a lot of things, a lot of things that we try to do, try to please each other with. It's just our words, how powerful our words are. So, you know, we had a couple that we found out are splitting up soon and it just broke our heart. And I just, I just think of how many people just give up so easily when there are a lot of things that can be helped. If you can just find a mentor, find some friends to help you through it. I'm not saying it's going to be easy at all. Marriage is tough. Marriage can be sticky. Marriage can um, take a lot of work. But if you can find people to help you through it, you can do it. So don't be afraid. Don't take your spouse for granted. Say some positive words. Lift your spouse up this week and just tell them that you love them. And I hope that was helpful. And next week, Steve will be back with me. Actually, it'll be in Colorado. So hopefully we'll have a beautiful mountain scene behind us. Have a fabulous night.